are you two? Shh. Have a seat. <clears throat> yes. At least you did something right and didn't toss these files. That's an inactive folder. What are you doing? <sighs> oh, and what do I call you, by the way? I mean, I'm Deb, but I go by your name, Jane, and you're Jane, and we would call you... Brittany. Yeah, that's whose body I got. I got a freaking Brittany. And about what you were saying earlier, you know, how you think I stole your life, I want you to know, I didn't choose this body. I mean, seriously, I would never choose this body. That's really rude. That, that came out wrong. I I'm actually quite happy with who I am, and I really love your body. <laughs> Good for you. But right now, I want to talk to you about a case which I need you to win. I'm sorry, what? When I was you, or should I say when I was me, I was... I was handling the appeal of a death row inmate, Matthew Thomas. He was convicted of killing a classmate, Tracy Riblin. Now, pay attention, because we don't have much time. Our client is innocent. He only confessed after a 32-hour interrogation because he was exhausted. Well, I'm sure there was evidence. He once dated the victim and ditched school the day she was murdered. He had no alibi as his foster parents were out of town. Well, that's not enough to convince. Well, there was a jailhouse snitch who claimed Matthew told him details of the crime that were never released by the cops. Mm. But when I took over the appeal, I discovered the snitch is related to a detective who was on the case. You discovered that? Yes, it took me two minutes on Facebook. In exchange for his testimony, the snitch got 10 years off his own sentence for rape. Did you alert the judge? Yes. He said the PD should have raised it at the trial. Look, Jane, this case has been bothering me since the day I died. The governor signed Matthew's death warrant. He will be executed in the next four days. Hey, Brittany, when you showed up at my place, you said that you were here to take back your life, so... Yes, I did. But now my priority is to finish my unfinished business. And since Brittany doesn't have a law degree, you're gonna have to help me. Oh, no, <laughs> yeah. See, I have a full schedule. We're gonna head over to the state pen and meet your client. Heads up, he's gonna be very angry with you. <laughs>